Hello guys, welcome back to the final Hue Vember color challenge for this month. We are on day 30. Starting off with that photo sensitivity warning, as always, the canvas to the right hand side of the screen is going to be stationary, whereas the one to the left is going to be flashing around. This is it guys, day 30. We made it the whole month of November. I am so stoked that I managed to do every single day of this challenge. This is by far the most proud I've ever been for a product project like this. I'm so happy. But anyway, for day 30, our final Hue Vember color challenge, the color is pink. We're sort of just like uh, finishing off the purples and capping it with a nice bright pink color to finish the whole day off. And the character I chose today is Bailey. She is another character in my Monster Kids universe. She is a ghost, specifically a banshee. Um, I love drawing her hair, just that big mass of floating fluffy hair. Although I couldn't quite get it right on this one. It took me a few tries. There we go. Uh, but yes, Bailey is one of my monster kids. Uh, she's a banshee specifically. And the reason I chose her for pink is she is the stereotypical uh, cheerleader preppy girl um, persona that every high school has to have. So that's why I included her in this one. The first time I drew Bailey, um, I was just doing some panel mapping for the comic, and I honestly didn't even intend for her to be a side character. She was really just a background character, uh, but I loved her design so much, and as I was uh, storyboarding the comic, I realized that I could fit her into the main plot line pretty easily. Uh, so she became went from a background character to a side character, and now she plays not a super significant role in the main plot, but it's still a pretty important one. So it was kind of fun to see her evolution of uh, importance in the story. And honestly, I don't think that evolution is done. I think I still want to keep playing with her and trying to find more ways to incorporate her into the story because I like the dynamic that she brings to it. A lot of my characters um, are based on myself and my experiences, at least in the uh, Monster Kids universe. And I was never the preppy kid, I was definitely never the popular kid, and I was never the mean girl in school. And Bailey sort of encompasses all three of those, so I feel like I want to bring her more into the story just to get that variety and get that uh, conflict with the main characters. So specifically for the coloring on this, this piece, I was having a little trouble because I wanted to start it out from the very beginning, um, making sure everything stayed in that pink hue. And Bailey actually has like grayish blue skin uh, on account of being a banshee. So I took the grayish blue skin and the pink hue of the piece and ended up giving her kind of like gray skin with a purple blush. And I think that worked out really well, but mainly uh, in the end, I do rely pretty heavily on just a lot of pink shading and pink overlays to give me that um, cohesive hue of the whole the whole piece being pink uh, instead of just small elements of it just like right here i'm just putting that overlay on the background and i even changed the line art to be a dark pink instead of a black um and i do that on the background layer and the foreground layer as well and i just realized my goodness these last few paint or these last few pieces i keep forgetting uh small things i was going to do a gaussian blur on that background layer and i completely forgot to do so i'm gonna have to go back and um and redo that. All right, I just went in and fixed those in the original piece. So the pieces on here, the before and after piece, and uh, the Instagram posts are going to have that blurred background, but the thumbnail for this video and the TikTok video are not, because I just can't be bothered to go in and fix those. Anyway, as I was saying, I was really focusing pretty heavily on using the shading and highlights and that overlay layer to give me that uh, pink hue throughout the whole piece. Um, so I, the normal colors, as you can see right here, they're very gray, they're very desaturated. <clears throat> and then I just went in with that overlay piece afterwards and made everything one cohesive uh, pink tone, which you can see I'm doing here. I made the right side of the canvas just slightly warmer pink um, to indicate that it was sort of being warmed up by that candle back there. And then the main light source in the room, besides that backlighting, is coming from the mirror on her vanity that she's looking into. You can't see the lights in the picture. I didn't choose to uh, to draw them, but they are. She's got the, one of those vanity mirrors with the lights all around it, so they're casting a, a nice heavy light on the on the front of her. 
And then other than the Gaussian blur at the very end, which I did just add now, so I didn't record it, um, I just finished up the highlights here and that is about the end of the piece. And I did want to take this time to just say thank you so, so much to everyone who uh, followed me on this journey, who followed along with all my pieces. It's been such a wild ride and I'm so, so happy to actually get these pieces onto YouTube. Um, I wanted to use this uh, art challenge to just kind of dip my toes into YouTube a little bit. Um, I'm definitely not gonna be posting once a day. That was uh, something that I was doing specifically for this challenge, but I would like to get into the habit of posting some videos once a week. So uh, with that in mind, I do want to keep doing these speed draw videos because this is what I do the most of. Um, it's what I know how to do. But if you guys have any recommendations of what you would like to see from me, any kinds of uh, tutorials or review videos or anything like that, drop them in the comments. I would love to check those out because um, I want to make more of these. I'm having a lot of fun on here. With that being said, Huevember is now officially over, so I will be taking a small break from specifically YouTube videos because I don't want to burn myself out too quickly. If you do enjoy my content and you would like to see more of it, you can find me on TikTok and Instagram. I will still try to be posting regularly there. Uh, and you can also check out my Patreon as well if you would like to support me that way. Any um, uh, updates I have about content, any new content will be going there first. Uh, there's a few different tiers you can choose from if you would like. And yeah, uh, make sure you can subscribe to this channel so you can find your way back here and find out what I'm doing next time. Bye!